Hey, what's this? There's a pot on my table. This can only mean one thing. Another project. And yes, inspired by the sprouts from all of my leaf propagations, I'm thinking of creating a leaf mandala here. I'm going to use all of these black prints and black knights as well as some of the other sprouts, the, the more mature sprouts here. And I'm going to fill this bowl and maybe the other one because I have two of these. Another reason why I'm thinking of doing it is because I want to make space for more leaves and I could probably reuse this tray for something else. So get, let's get right to it. So the first step, as always, is to fill up this bowl with some soil. But I don't want to fill it up with the premium mix, so the bottom half or bottom two-thirds would be just my regular mix. And I'll top it off with a premium succulent and cacti mix. Alright, I think this is enough for the bottom layer. I'm going to fill it up with the more, maybe premium, exp the more expensive soil that I have. So I'm just going to fill it up pretty close to the brim. Yeah, this should be enough. So all I have to do is to just level it. And there we go. Just in case you were wondering what I was trying to do, here are my previous mandalas. I'm using sprouts that have already grown, you know, uh, they are in the larger stage of their growth. They have their own roots and most of them have already shed the parent leaf. I do this mainly for aesthetic reasons, but at the same time, it serves a functional purpose because I get to reuse my trays by making more space. And besides, it's, it's nice seeing them all together in one spot. Although, the growing season is coming near, which means maybe in a month or so, I'll, I'll have to repot most of these babies anyway. But it's alright. It's fun and I like having to do some stuff around the garden. I'm trying to decide what rosette to place in the center. Because after all, this is going to be a design. And... I thought of using this Graptoviria tricolor because it's in a small pot and it it's not really too big right now. I guess this will work. Yeah, this will work. So I'll just have to make some space in the middle. Just make a small mound around it so it stands on its own. And this should be enough. Since I'm gently sweeping soil around it, this does not make things compact. So everything is pretty loose. Is this in the center? Nope, it's a bit off center. So 
So I'll just have to shift that a bit. How about now? Yep, much better. So, what plans to put around it? Choices, choices. Maybe for the inner ring, I'll use this golden glows. And for the outer rings, the black prince and black knights. Or maybe just a black prince so I know which ones they are. Because it'd be, it would be quite hard to tell apart the black prince and the black knight at this stage. So just so I don't mess up my identification, I'm going to use black knights around the outer ring. In case you were wondering what a golden glow looked like, let me show you one. There should be one here. Where are you? Where are you? It's out in the open and this is the, the larger golden glow. And look, there are more leaves. Yeah, I'll get those next time. But yeah, this is my golden glow and right now it's still retaining its winter colors. I think by summer it will be mostly just green and a bit of gold at the edge. Right now the edges are red. So imagine this turning more yellow and gold. That's going to be its summer colors. Now back to our bowl. So as I was thinking a while ago, uh, I'm going to use some golden glow. So I'll just go ahead and place them here. I'm not sure which direction I want them to be, so maybe outwards. So that way, when they grow roots, they're not going to hit the, the center set. But I don't know, man. Design-wise, facing out leaves outward looks better. So maybe I'll just reserve a bit of space around them. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I have enough to form a ring, but I just have to make the ring more perfect. Could maybe add one more. This looks better. And now, the Black Prince. I'm going to do the same as I did here. Just to make things easier, I'm going to shift the ball closer. They're still pretty loose since I just laid them on the soil. But I'll just have to be careful from now on. All right. Looks like only one one more layer would fill would fit. So maybe that's what I'll do. As you can see, I'm just laying them on the soil. I'm going to sprinkle some soil on the roots. I just need to have them uh, in position. I'll worry about the roots later on.
few more to go. This one. Okay, I've got the outer ring finished. And all I need to do is to sprinkle a bit of soil on the, the roots of the black prints. And this should make them ready. But before I do that, you know, I've just, I've just realized that maybe it would be a lot easier if I started out with the outer ring before I work on the inner ring. So I'm going to retro do that now. So I'm going to remove the inner ones first. It will make sense once, once I get to the next step. So just please bear with me for now. Alright, so this is why it makes sense. Because what I could do is to just tuck, tuck the roots a bit under the soil, just slightly. You know, no, no need to force them. And what I'll do is. Sprinkle a bit around. would have been a lot easier if I did it in the first instance but I haven't thought of it through <laughs> I tend to just dive into these things it's just that you never see the behind the scenes often anyway the outer ring is done and I'm going to put the, the inner leaves back in Hopefully, I still end up making a, maybe not a perfect circle, but a good enough circle. Again, let's look at the top and rearrange. So there's more space here. I'll just move this forward. Yeah, this should be good enough. Alright. Now all I have to do is to move it to the appropriate spot on the shelf and forget about it for a while. After filling up the bowl just now, you know, I just realized I still have a whole lot of black prints. But, oh well, this is, this is a good problem to have. So at least by summer, I have a lot to sell. Huh. Awesome. You know what? Maybe I should also move this tray to this area. Because they get more sun here might stimulate their growth some more because I usually have my really young cuttings there yep that's what I'll do 
but this is quite heavy I would need two hands to lift this so cut and they're now in the shelf it should be better for their growth because at least they all have similar watering requirements here and I don't have to worry about my hose because like the others on this shelf they have grown their own roots and they're established which means I can be a bit more indiscriminate with my hose gun I could just spray the whole area and not worry a bit about overwatering because none of the younger plants are here so a while ago I was originally thinking about making another mandala on this bowl but I decided against it because I think it would be nice if I I used other types of plants just so you know design wise I don't have the same the same bowls the same look some variety would be good man so I'll just have to wait for some of these leaves to sprout before I make another one